All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here again. And today is the theme of phone cases for the new iPhone 12. So I've done two videos so far today and I'm just running through them. So with this one, this is actually one that I've been using as my daily driver on my case for the last like couple of days now. And the main reason, and you'll see, is because I really wanna show off the new um, gunmetal carbon fiber skin that I have on my iPhone 12 right now, which you can go check out the video up above that I did on this skin. But I uh, got it from Soapy Guard, really cool skin. But I'm doing a review now on a case that I actually did a review on an iPhone 11, but it was a little bit different material, but the same brand, and that is Tozo. So Tozo makes these really cool cases. So you can see T-O-Z-O, -O, um, but they make very affordable cases. So as I'm talking, I'll kind of just show you the box a little bit. Very basic box, nothing fancy, nothing special about it. Um, let's see if I can get that zoomed in, there we go. Um, but this case here was a case that I bought personally with my own hard earned money from Amazon. It's $9.99, but there's a coupon right now where you can get 10% off. There is prime shipping with it. Uh, and it's also one of those cases where if you ordered 35 bucks or more, uh, you can actually get it delivered the same day. Um, so yeah, but here's the Tozo. Let's check it out. Um, back of the case, pretty simple. It has just some uh, instructions here, installation. Uh, please put the volume button corner into the case first, as it says, then press the power button corner down, and last, press into the two corners for charging. Um, I don't know if I follow those instructions. I don't, actually, so let's get it out. So, whoops. So, easy peasy, and that's the unboxing, that's it. So it comes in this plastic here with Tozo all over it. And then when you take it out, so before I show you the case, so there is a one year warranty for the case itself. And then there's some customer service stuff where it says extended warranty activate here within 14 days. So you can scan the QR code. And as long as you do it within 14 days of purchasing the case, uh, then you have a year warranty on it. And then there's some customer service stuff on the back. So there you go. And then that vibrate was my phone, sorry. And then here's the case. So let me go ahead and pull the film off. So there we go. And that's it. So just a very basic matte black bumper with a clear back. And it does have like those little dots in it. Um, I'm not really sure. I can't remember what those are called. Like. I don't know, I can't remember, dot matrix, or I keep on saying dot matrix, but I can't remember. But it's supposed to help with the watermarks when you're, if you're using the phone without a skin and you're pushing it up against it, so those watermark air bubbles and stuff like that. But it's also supposed to help with fingerprints. Um, and over the time that you've been using it for the last couple of days, it doesn't really show fingerprints at all, which is actually pretty nice. But I'm OCD with my cases, so I do wipe it down a little bit, but yeah. So there you go. And then as far as the volume buttons, there you go. I do like that it is gray. So in my other video, I was kind of making fun of gray boring buttons, but like I said, I do like gray boring buttons, but it's a matte black material. Got your port there cut out for the uh, alert slider. Here you got your uh, little dots here where if you want to put a lanyard or something with it, you can. Um, you got your volume, or excuse me, your um, lightning port cut out there, and then of course your um, speaker grills cut out there. I don't know why I'm being distracted. I'm actually being, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I'm distracted because the trash truck guys are here, like going up and down our street now, picking up trash, and I can keep on hearing it, and it's making my dog bark, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, but then of course the side here, let's see if I can get it focused. There we go. And you got your gray power button there. So let's go ahead and slap it on the phone. So pretty simple with installation. I don't remember what it said on the back. The way I always install my cases is I start with the left and the right corners and I start those in first. So where the volume would be, the volume buttons. I start with those first and then I just push down. That's it. And one thing that you will notice is with the new iPhone 12s, with them having the squared edges and the squared sides, um, 
some cases are a little harder to put on and some cases are a little harder to take off too because it's not just that simple quick pop out type thing but either way um, but and there it is with the phone so as you can see you got the back of the uh, phone fully exposed so you can see that nice gray carbon fiber uh, skin that I have on the iPhone 12 you can see that the bumpers are cut out very nice for the camera bump it does have a very nice lip on this case here so very nice very raised but it's not super just gigantic where you can notice it so when you put it on a table um, there's real you can't move it at all since it is that flat squared off back so there's no wiggle so the camera bump uh, for the protection there is not huge at all when it comes to it. So once again, let's get in focus there. If I can, come on. There we go. So there we go. Very nice, very flat. As you can see, the speaker grills and the lightning port is nicely cut out, so no obstructions. Then once again, we've already seen this, but let's go ahead and show it to you again. So there is the sides. And then here's the front. Gosh, keep on getting all these dang notifications. Sorry. And then there is the front of the phone. Let's get that focused. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of a lip. If you can notice that on my fingers, but not much. So once again, very confident putting it face down. I wouldn't just go throw this. Now I have dropped the phone already once. Sorry, bumped the camera. Uh, I dropped it once on a hard surface um, from about three or four feet and it landed perfectly flat on its face and I was just like oh no I was like uh, and then my wife was like freaking out and, but luckily nothing happened um, and I do have a tempered glass on the phone so you can see there um, and it's not exp um, you know affecting my tempered glass at all so definitely there you go and then let's do the button test so power button There we go. And then the volume buttons. So very responsive. I love it. I love the tactiness with them, if that's a word. Um, one thing to point out with this case though, which I found a little interesting, is with the with the um, with the buttons here, they stick up a little bit, but they almost are very smooth with the case. Like with some of my cases that I have, like even with like my Spigen one and all that, these stick up a little bit more so they're a little bit easier to find. And I'm not saying that it's hard to find the button, but just sometimes when I'm like rushing and I'm like looking for the power button, uh, it does feel very um, just embedded inside of the sides there. And the same with the volume buttons. Once again, it's not a deal breaker, but as you can see, it's just very flush. So... Just something to point out, but I don't hate it. I, I, I mean, I don't don't hate it at all, um, but it just looks so good and it's cheap. Like I said, it's $9.99, less 10%. So you basically are paying $10 out the door basically uh, since shipping's free and it's a good case and it will protect your phone because like I said, I have dropped it from about three to four feet on a very hard tile surface and it didn't break. So that's good. Um, cause yeah, I was freaking out. Maybe that's something to say about the ceramic shield, but I do have temper glass and MagSafe will work with this case. Obviously it's super thin. So if you have a MagSafe charger, it's going to do just fine as well. Um, so there you go, guys. That is the Tozo, um, matte black, uh, bumper case with a clear back. Um, so comment down below and let me know if you'll have this case for your iPhone 12, if you do or don't, or if you like the clear back, uh, I'm a huge fan of clear back uh, cases. My wife, not a big fan of them, um, but I am. So yeah, but hit that like button, subscribe. And uh, yeah, there we go guys. So I'll see you in the next one.